Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about the impact of international law on the promotion of human rights uh, at the internal uh, plane of Montenegro. Passing the first written constitutions uh, is the beginning of the uh, establishment of the first human rights. First time in the constitutions we have the catalogue of human rights and at the end of the 18th and the beginning of the 19th century. The foundation uh, are made by the liberal rights, then the political, and then after that, social and economic rights. Until the establishment of the constitutional judiciary, we have not known the issue of uh, human rights and freedom. Then we had the Second World War, all human rights are crashed. We can see that uh, guarantees are not sufficient that existed in the national frameworks and that the same have been discredited. Then there is a need that at the international level we should envisage the guarantees of human rights. De facto, human rights uh, uh, originated in internal rights as a specific synthesis of theory of natural right and the um, inheritance of the French, American, and Anglo Saxon revolution, uh, Anglo Saxon concept of the rule of law, and the declaration of the French Revolution on the rights of person and citizens. Comprehensive promotion and protection of human rights starts only after the Second World War by the adoption of the series of international legal documents on human rights, international declaration, European Convention on Human Rights, establishing the European Court of Human Rights, Inter-American Conference on Human Rights, establishing the Inter-American Court of Human Rights, the covenants of human rights uh, on civil, political, economic, cultural, and social rights, African Charter on Human Rights and the Rights of Peoples, establishing African Committee for Human Rights. In this way, human rights stop being part of exclusive competence of the state and become internationalized, and the rules of international law, law especially standards developed in the practice of beyond courts of human rights, become integral parts, even decisive factor of the promotion and protection of human rights in internal law. This tendency becomes especially dominant in the, ra in the last 20 years um, in accordance with the political, economic and cultural changes at the global level. With the end of the Cold War, globalization, uh, growing pluralism, dynamic intermingling of various cultures and civilization in contemporary international relationships. The courts of the quantity states uh, on the first years of the implementation of the convention have not paid many, uh, much attention to the jurisprudence of the European court. However, citizens with time have, uh, have got more and more trust in the work of the court to show greater interest. The uh, convention becomes uh, a huge uh, protector of human rights in the European framework. In many countries of the Eastern and Central Europe, um, uh, European Convention is ratified and the state become members to the Council of Europe. We have uh, the fall of socialism and also the impact of international law particularly is expressed in the domain of humanitarian and international criminal law as a consequence of establishing and functioning international criminal courts and their rich case law, both at the internal level and international. We have then establishing new standards at the plane of the protection of individuals in armed conflicts. This is particularly related to expand the uh, concept of the crime against humanity, uh, not only in the war, but including the rape and other crime. Development of the concept of uh, uh, criminal association for the perpetration of crime, development of the concept of command responsibility at the um, all levels, it, interpreting the concept of um, conflict. These uh, uh, movements uh, were reflected in the provisions of the Criminal Code of Montenegro in Articles 104 to 499. Although their specific uh, application, um, the war crime trials have not yet been fully implemented because, first of all, of our insufficient uh, readiness to face this very serious um, challenge. Besides the role of the court as uh, uh, decisive body, uh, the body of the prosecution, which needs to be responsible and accountable, whose uh, charges will be understandable and applicable, and the result of the application of the laws, because the result of a judgment is just a copy, um, copied indictment. Um, 
let alone to talk about other things. Um, in Montenegro, in February 2014, we had a judgment enforceable with four persons convicted to the imprisonment for the criminal act of criminal of war crime against uh, war criminals, uh, war um, prisoners according to the uh, indictment of the Supreme State Prosecution for the Prevention of Organized Crime and War Crimes in Podgorica. Definitely most important impact on the promotion of human rights in internal legal systems have the judgments of the European Court of Human Rights, more precisely sand legal standards developed in the very rich case law. This is particularly related to the so-called evolutionary interpretation of the Convention as a living organism, which uh, the Convention adopted in the 1950s uh, adjusts to contemporary change conditions of life and the content of the prescribed uh, law rights is amended and additionally uh, specified. Therefore, the Articles 2 and 3 of the Convention, which are not explicitly described in the Convention, which have been developed in the richer case law of the court in the last 16 years have become part of the internal uh, legal order of all the member states of the Council of Europe. In cases where you have uh, the, the tortures or inhuman degraded treatment, the state are obliged to implement uh, um, quick, uh, um, efficient and impartial investigation uh, in, uh, imposed by numerous uh, standards of uh, the case law. Case law. Mm, many cases uh, are listed there we should emphasize that the EU member states basically stick to these demanding very specific um, duties which have been developed at the international uh, plane through case law and also accepted and applied internally by means of which the level of protection of human rights has been considerably uh, improved. The right to a reasonable time guarantee is also a primary developed and very um, well precise, uh, uh, specified in the case law of the court of uh, in Strasbourg, the behavior of the court, the interest of the, uh, all the participants in the cases. Many laws have been formulated to the reasonable time issue. The laws um, related to Kudla and Pinto law. Uh, in in almost all the uh, Council of Europe member states, uh, which additionally strengthen this right. Montenegro has ratified the Convention for the Protection of Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms uh, of the Council of Europe in, within the State Union, Serbia and Montenegro in December 2003. In relation to the Council of Europe and the European Court of Human Rights, the Convention is a binding as of the 3rd of March 2004, when um, ratification instruments were submitted to the Council of Europe. Montenegro in 2007 adopted the law on the protection um, uh, of the reasonable time guarantee, which was made in accordance with the Kutla and Pinto model, with two basic models um, established uh, control uh, request for the in speeding up of the case and also um, on the basis of all the analyses of more than 120 cases for the speeding up of the procedures submitted to the Montenegrin courts within 2007 to 2012. The European Court of Human Rights in the judgment Vukulic against Montenegro concluded that uh, this legal remedy can be considered effective legal remedy for securing and promotion of uh, rights uh, to a reasonable time guarantee. In relation to the uh, just uh, satisfaction claim the uh, European Court has not yet given its opinion on the effectiveness because this legal remedy uh, has been effectively applied. Uh, so in case Bulatovic against Montenegro, the applicant got almost twice compensation for the violation of these rights in relation to one awarded by the European Court in 2000, 2000 euros compared to 1,200 euros. The procedures bef um, in these um, cases are um, summary and they're exempt from payment of court fees. And there are deadlines uh, which are to be respected now. In 2013, for the just satisfaction claim, uh, we had 45 cases. Uh, 23 of them uh, established the violation of the right to uh, reasonable time guarantee with the compensation awarded. Um, the claim was rejected in 12 cases, and one case uh, was completed in a different way. 
the impact of international legal standards from the practice of the European Court on the, to the promotion of human rights in the internal legal order, especially is important in the domain of freedom of expression, Article 10 of the European Convention on Human Rights and Fundamental Freedom. This is particularly related to the uh, paragraph 2 of the Article 10, or the legality of infringing upon the limitation of the um, right to expression, uh, especially uh, violation of the dignity of uh, Article uh, different standards now um, developed in the uh, internal standards of it's in specific terms uh, infringing and the violation of the freedom of expression must be limit uh, prescribed in the law and uh, um, in accordance with the article 10 paragraph 2 it must be necessary in democratic society by means of which the existence is expressed of the necessary um, need of society to protect uh, from uh, abuse of freedom of expression. The decision on infringing must be based on relevant and sufficient reasons of uh, uh, criminal sanction and compensation must be proportionate, uh, com balanced with the um, uh, concrete case, Nicolaidis uh, versus Montenegro case, first time applied adequately international standard from Article 10, Paragraph 2, by means of which it gave um, essential contribution to the implementation of this right in Montenegro. And finally, uh, not less important, are the um, novelties in the Criminal Procedure Code, Article 424.6, uh, and the Law on Civil Procedure, Article 428, promoting the right to repetition of a, a case um, ended with the enforceable court judgment in case of if the European Court establishes the violation of human rights and fundamental freedom and that the judgment is based on such um, violation and that by repetition of the case it is possible to amend such uh, violation. On the basis of the judgment of the European Court in case Koprivica against Montenegro, this has been confirmed. In any moment, we need to have in mind fundamental objective of the Convention, and this is for every European citizen in this signatory country enjoys full protection of the right contained in the Convention in all the internal uh, legal systems. And uh, European Commission and standards um, should be seen as a minimum European standards for the protection of human rights. Uh, mandatory for all uh, member states, but that every country in its internal uh, law can establish and apply higher standards when regards human rights. And finally, allow me to thank for your attention and to remind you of the words of Montesquieu when he said on one occasion that perhaps we should not, uh, one uh, who should not say anything new should keep silent, but it is up to you to uh, judge if I. Uh, should have said anything. Thank you.